drag is an art form and that's pure and pure basic and simple Kennedy St. James is a drag performer living in Hamilton, Ontario. She says drag comes in different forms. You've got different genres. It's just, it's just, it's literally like art. It's the difference between like minimalistic and, and modernism and cubism and whatever else. There are beauty queens, there are pageant queens. And it's a, a, an expression of how you feel on the inside. I, I started doing this because I was very insecure and very shy and I wanted to be outgoing and I wanted the people to think that I was glamorous and beautiful and lovely and you know here I am all these years later and hopefully they think that. <laughs> she started performing when she was young in Oklahoma in what she says was a conservative area. So breaking into the industry in a small town was uh, hard to say the least. I moved here seven years ago. Uh, I lived in St. Catharines for a period of time. I, I, I got wise and married a Canadian. <laughs> and uh, at that point in time, the unrest in the U.S. was, was really starting to come to a head. And uh, we decided that maybe Canada was a better, a better fit for us. What are some of the misconceptions you think society gives drag artists, drag performers? Well, I think that a lot of times people confuse Right now, especially within the States, they confuse being transgender with doing drag. And they are not the same thing. Like I myself, once I take all this off, I just turn into a woman. And I always tell people that trans is who I am, drag is what I do. Kennedy says in Canada, we are starting to see some of this ideology across the border. I think that if you just go out and if you think that drag shows are horrible, but yet you've never seen one. How do you know it's actually horrible? For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.